Happy Sunday. So, let's see, where'd we live off on the Kitchen Island? We've got these beautiful leg, I don't know, I don't even know what to call them, but what we're going to put the the um, the casters on. And so the caster frames, uh, yesterday we got those uh, buffed, you know, it, buffed a little bit with a scotch pad and then primed with a filler uh, filler primer and then epoxied in a nice black and so today we're going to take and grind the um, the the feet pads the caster pads and get those welded to the bottom of the table and I've got some tricks on uh, on how I did that remember yesterday when we marked the center of the squares and I said to make sure you know, we, we got a trick when we started with this that there's the flat surface or the straight surface from where we cut it off the plate. Well, that's going to be important today as we actually mount the legs. I'll um, show you how I plan on getting a, a really nice straight surface that's uniform. We'll be using the centers uh, that I marked on those squares. So stay tuned. Okay, so I promised a trick. So remember when we punch the center of these squares, right, on the, the neat thing about a welding table that is set up for modular, so I just, I inserted these, these, and you're pretty much guaranteed that um, these are fairly straight. And what I did, as you can see, see the dot, right, that's the center of that pad. And so if I put the corner on the center of that pad and I put the corner and these are up against the if I put the center on that pad and that's up against the flat edge remember the when I talked about the flat edge right so that's up against the the reference point it's up against the reference point here and you can very easily make you know figure out where, where things to go, and it's gonna be nice and straight. Ample room to weld. I'm actually gonna move this in a little bit. Um, and what I'll do, using my handy dandy ruler, I'm just going to lay that across. Here, let's do it this way so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna lay that across, and I'm gonna move the table in so there's my dot. I don't know if you can see that. There it is. Okay. And I'm going to put that so that it's coming out of the corner and lined up on the vertical here between the two corners. All right. Let me do that and I'll take another shot. It's kind of hard to do holding the camera. Okay. So we've got the it's square. We, got the, we had the dot centered until I just did that. Can you see in there? Get in there. Okay. We've measured. And again, it does, this doesn't need to be awesome exact, but uh, this is good enough, so I measured the distance here. And so we'll tack, tack all this down and uh, do the next, do the other side and then weld it up. So stay tuned. That's why we put the dot in the center. Alrighty. So here's an example of a couple passes on the, the leg there. A little bit of filling. And the reason I'm doing that is so that I can start to blend it. You know, I don't want any welds per se. This is going in the kitchen and my wife well, let me do that. Um, here's the using an orbital sander. That's a really nice soft finish, and that'll get put uh, a clear satin on top of that. So that should look really nice. So there the the legs or the pads are on. And with the plate, you know, one of the tricks, you know, you can see the heat here. Is a lot the penetration zone the heat affected zone is a lot less than it is up here and to get a good weld 
what I did is I heated with a pinpoint torch the plate, okay? And um, that's gonna make a big difference on your on your welds. Also with, um, you know, with all this, uh, you know, make sure that, uh, you know, everything is clean, everything was ground, everything was wiped down with uh, acetone. Here's the difference. You can see the difference between this surface, you know, coming around the corner to the brush surface. Right, so getting ready to finish it now. So lots of sanding and, uh, you know, the little bit of grinding on the inside. But um, there's the epoxy for the wood to rest on inside. That looks pretty good. So getting a lot closer, you know, making something for the kitchen. I guess it's the same as doing, you know, making a nice customization for the bike. I could have done a better job here, um, you know, but most of these are, are pretty, they're pretty good. You know, I didn't want it to look, you know, like really, um, uh, you know, perfect. I wanted it to, you know, be obvious that it was handmade. So when somebody asks about it, I can, I can brag about my skills. So anyway, great project, you know, wonderful to practice the welding and the blending on. Um, and, you know, I think you look at it once, once you look at the, the, um, uh, you know, they get the coasters on there with the, the butcher block. It's going to look really sharp. So happy Sunday. Everybody's probably getting ready to watch Super Bowl. Have a good time. And I'll talk to you next week. Bye. And thanks for watching.